Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Elden Ring Bow Only Challenge Run, the live stream series where archery is our only option. And if you want to watch these challenge runs on your own time, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and boot that bell button to stay notified. Now, when we previously left off, we were actually fighting Midra, so I might be wondering, Atomitz, what is this? Like, where, where are we? So, after fighting, uh, after attempting to fight Midra, I decided that it would make more sense to focus on trying to upgrade police as much as possible in the DLC. And for that, I went on a little off-stream adventure that <laughs> resulted in me fighting um, a couple of the Remembrance bosses off-stream. So, the end result is this. <laughs> yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are Scout Tree Blessing ranked 18. If you're wondering how we got here, it is because I have collected every single Scout Tree Fragment in the entire DLC area, except the final area, which I'm assuming is past this point. So, essentially, I, I ran into this area called the Church of the Bud. I fought this uh, boss called, uh, I think it was called uh, St. Domina or St. Romina or something of the Church of the Bud. And after that, I got to a platform that just basically said, Hey, hey, dumb dumb, you need to go defeat Mesmer or else you can't go forward. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay then. <laughs> Uh, before that, in order to get enough scout tree fragments to be where I'm at right now, I moseyed on to the opposite, uh, up, up the opposite way of this dungeon to fight none other than the boar rider himself, Commander Dias, and that was a really hard fight. Like, there was that one charging attack where uh, Commander Dias would lunge at you, and the hitbox on that attack is just so vast that you can't avoid it consistently unless you're in light roll. So I had to completely change my strategy to get through uh, that boss fight. But what I did, not only was I rewarded with five scout tree fragments, but I was also rewarded with this. Apparently, there is a talisman in this game that increases damage from bows when you are not uh, when you are not locked onto a target. <laughs> and the fact that it was locked behind like a, a secret uh, side boss is just like what. But it's fine, we have this now as an... Uh, I don't really see this being that useful for bosses, just because with a lot of the bosses, his locking on is, is generally the way they go. But I mean, for like exploring dungeons, this will be really, really good. Also, hello, Copper Nicholson. Thanks for dropping by. How's it going? So, obviously, that still doesn't make the question. Antonis, where the heck are we? So, we are actually near the top of the Shadow Keep. So, if we go all the way over here, you'll notice... That we are very, 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 very high up. That's it. <laughs> Hello, Jay. Thanks for dropping by. How's it going? Nine percent of the game unlocked slightly up low for the way of the RPG. <laughs> Let, listen, you say slightly helpful, but bear in mind, I have almost seventy-five percent physical damage addition with no buffs. No buffs. I, I, I know, Felice. I know. It's, it, it's very good. It's not just very good, it's practically making every attack to deal a quarter of the damage. That's like four times the amount of health. That's a fair point, Felice. <laughs> but, I mean, if we want to talk about defense, though, I actually did pick up another uh, talisman while I was exploring the raw plains. It's, uh, this one. So, <laughs> this thing will just put our defenses through the roof if we get into heavy load or overload. But of course, that would mean no dodging. So essentially, th the only reason to use this is if we really want to be like, okay, we want to get hit by everything and just hope for the best. But of course, since we've done like quote unquote 90-ish percent of the DLC, at least for in terms of getting the scout tree fragments, that just remains gates of the last area. But in order to get to the last area, we have to beat Mesmer because mandatory boss fight. I mean, they, they marketed Mesmer all over the place for um, the advertising for Elden Rain, so. I hope it li lives up to the hype. Now, with that being said, I genuinely don't know what to expect. So, as always, Let's do our little ritual. Flask up. Golden Vow. And let's see how horrible this will be. <laughs> Alright. In we go. It's dark. It is, Felice. 
Man, you know, for once, I might have found a good spot to take a nap. It's really dark in here. It really hopes no one turns on the lights. Oh, come on! <laughs> the odds. Intruder. intruder? Excuse me, this is my dreams. If anything, you're intruding me. What? <laughs> Snap. Why stack though? Mother, wouldst thou truly lordship sanction in one so bereft of life? <laughs> um, I mean, she didn't really have a choice. I defeated America, so, you know. Yet, my purpose standeth unchanged. Are you just not trying to try never sleep again? Because if so, it's working. Those stripped of the grace of gold. Shall all meet death. Ah, uh, excuse me, I am the Galt. Magic super rare light every candle on a 50 mile radius. <laughs> Truly a don't like power. <laughs> I mean it is, when you think about it. Police wants to nap, Mesmer won't let us nap. This guy is the ultimate night light. He must face He must face my god. Ow! No! Stop! Whoa, okay. Follow up? No. Okay, that was a command grab. That was totally a command grab. Oh, okay, that's just like the Metro Knights. Okay, let's, let's heal up off of that. Okay. That's not explode. Nope, not exploding. Okay. Oh, I got poison off. That's fair. Nah! What the heck is this? Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is intense. Oh dear. I might want to yell. No! No! Okay. Bro! Bro! Oh, I'm dead. Yelling. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Bye, please. It's nice knowing you. You didn't one shot me. Melania could do that. You're underwhelming, Mesmer. Even if you're totally tipping my butt right now. In the embrace of Mesmer's. You know, for a first attempt, that wasn't too bad. No, I didn't feel like this guy's totally gonna have like a really bad second phase, isn't he? Also, Cobra Nicholson has redeemed uh Ria Message Toa. Huh? What's with that? Had all that? Your mewing street stops? Come on, where's that signal I had door? Who's always, he's about to snap. Wait, what in Ohio? That's not, not based or goaded. I've got that, that silly he drip. And now I need to womp womp over her to this court, Nitro. Uh, okay. Well, let's, let's try that again. Round two. Mazmar, if you're the ultimate night light, I'm gonna shut you off. I don't do night lights. Okay, that explosion's still grabbing me. Okay, need more poison. Okay, uh, okay, that, that was bad. was so lucky. Okay, I can't jump out of that. Uh, uh, is that enough to punch at me? Uh, almost. Great. Okay. Ow! Can you stop that? I thought that would explode. Alright. Okay, he falls up. Falls up. Ow! No. Oh, I, I rolled right into that. I did not. In the embrace of Mesmus. Ow. This boss is totally doable. I'm just saying. I'm just mistiming everything horribly right now. Oh dear. Hmm. You know, I'll say this, chat. 
when I, when I fought uh, Saint Romina and uh, Commander Gaius, I actually swapped out this talisman for this just because of the a lot more heals. I think that might be the way to go here. Well. heals. Yeah, those heals. Oh, oh, no! Why didn't I roll? <laughs> no. I mean, at least you got the poison off, so that's nice. Yep. Okay, here comes the bleed. What we need to do is just learn the attack patterns. That's where we're at at this point. Like, boss is totally doable. Just need to learn them attack patterns. All right. Wait for it. Hey, we didn't get hit this time. Yay. More poison for you, sir. And that's a punish window. Roll. Okay, we don't want any of that. Oh. Ow! Okay, I should have double rolled. Okay, should have double rolled. Should have double rolled. Woo. Ow. Healing. Okay, heal. Heal, heal. get better at just not eating myself into oblivion. The triple thrust, he does that. Um, am I still interested in the Transformers? I mean, moderately.
repair her some stamina. We proc. Phase two. All right, how horrible is this going to be? I will not suffer. A lord devoid of light. No oh, mother. Forgive me. What is he doing? Oh dear. Ah. Ah. Why though? Where I said turn off the light, not the night light. Uh oh. <laughs> you like that? It turns to Vandra and sits for OG contest. He's like, oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Soon. Tarnished. Die for an eye, life for a life. Uh oh. Wilt thou be? Taken in the jaws uh. of the abyss uh. of light. Uh -oh. well, that's ominous. What? What is it? What? He becomes snack. He is the snack now. 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 He is the snack. He has become the snack. It's right guard 2.0, not again! Not again! I don't want the snack again! We've had enough snack for this playthrough! No more snack! He has too much health now! What, 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 what's happening? I don't even know what is happening. Whoa! Oh dear, the phone's moved! Ow, come on! Why so much snack? Uh oh. What? What is happening? <laughs> Why? Why? Jay <laughs> Jorman jumped in. No. Why? That's for why. It's like, hmm, Felice. I heard you didn't like my brother Rykard very much. Let's see if I can fix that. I want you <laughs> No. You say this thing just made me rattle? <laughs> oh no. 
Maybe a little bit. Full fight though, so far. <laughs> All right. Well, now we know what to expect. See if we can make the most of it. Oh, right. Okay, one, two, wait for it, three. Yes! Punish window! Punish window! Punish. Not punish time. Poison's up. Bleed his wife. Ow! Okay, I should just I should have just jumped over that. Okay, that's why it was slow. Or, or not. Okay, jab, 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 jab. Dang it, that's where. Woo! That was hot on our tail. Oh, we're so dead. No! I rolled slightly too late now. Yeah. We were doing well. Hmm. There's a lot of fire damage. It's got me thinking. So if he does so much fire damage. Is there some world? Assuming the earth tree is the world tree, that would make the snake that is shadow Yormandar, and by proxy make you Thor. Really? That's a, all a fair point. You saying that I am the titty of lightning? I believe it. Yeah, I believe it too, Felice. That's not me thinking. Like, this guy is all about, y you know, fire damage, right? So what if, what if we went all out on that? Just, just for funsies. Like, obviously this is, this is just not going to be a meme, a meme strat, but let's see if, um, let's see if I did that. Yeah, we'll throw on the Verdurous Talisman just for funsies. Let's humor me for a second. This probably isn't going to work. I'm more so just curious. So if we go into heavy load. All right, that does our defenses up a bit more. So while we're in heavy load, we can still jump. We can't like roll away, but we can at least jump to do the hoppy hops. And then, if you add insults to injury, if we throw on the Pearl Drake Talisman plus three, that'll be quite a bit more. Unless we all want to be real cheeky about it, we would do the, um... Where's my shield talisman? Yeah! 80%! Give me more! 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 Though, I guess if we want to do ultra tank, I guess it would be... We would throw on, like, the heaviest equipment we have, so... Try our souls into overload. So we're just going to just equip a bunch of great shields. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> wow, I, I, no, I, I really need to go out here. Okay, we're overloaded. <laughs> Chat, what is that resistance? 85%, excuse me. Although, alternatively, we just do this. Then we're close to 80%. <laughs> Is this overkill? I mean... Ah, uh, it's a work. Have fun, danger, Nubal Randling. All right, sounds good. Have, have a great day at work, Jay. Thanks for dropping by. All right. 
So let's, um... I guess uh, we'll replace you with this. There's no way this is gonna work, right? Th th this shouldn't work. Absolutely no way that this should work. But we're going to try it anyway, just for the memes. All right. Ooh, that. Man, we move so slow. <laughs> this is not going to work. Um. Try it though. Still legit. <laughs> I was curious. I want to see if it would do anything. The answer is no. <laughs> All right. All right, no worries. Have a good night, Copper. In we go. One, two, wait for it. Throw that up. And and then punish window. Oh, I, I missed on that camera I dropped so badly. Ow.
Oh, there's a blue drop. Oh, no, I'm dead. Bye, police. Straight to the base of gold shadow death. In the embrace of Mesmer's flame. Okay, so they did at least think about that. I was curious if From Software would program him to not get stuck in that spot. Alright, horrible time to trade. Horrible time to trade. Sneaky boss, it is indeed. Indeed, Quinn, it is. Also, hello, Quinn. Thanks for dropping by. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Mesmer Fight. Excuse me. Still. Command grabs. 
Embrace thine oblivion, as shall I. Hey, we got to face this, that's it. What he says his weaknesses are bleed and frostbite. Are you sure about that? Because so far, poison's been working pretty well. It seems to take forever to build up uh, a bleed against this guy. So unless frostbite build up requirements are significantly less than bleed, I'd say no. Oh, no. In the embrace of Mesmer's faith. Hmm. Actually, I wonder. So. Pretty sure there's a fire resistance in Hidation, isn't there? Oh yeah, there is. Greatly increases fire negation. That might help here. Let's see, now how much will this help? So right now we're at 64%. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that'll do! <laughs> 85% fire resistance? Yes, please. Oh, the buff's still there. Alright, well, we'll take that. Now, dang it. 
Uh, that was a good start, but now I didn't finish. Damn, that's rare. All right. Yo, Felice, thanks, thanks, Gwen. I'm trying. Felice is trying her best. If I protect me, seemed to help a little bit. Not nearly as much as I thought it would, though. I guess this is kind of a physical. Uh, it's kind of a split between physical and uh, fire. Probably stuck with Golden Bow for now. Oh, a fusion's that thing that bows can't do. Appreciate the suggestion. But bows can't really do that. We can equip after the war, but not in fusions. Someone for that blame from software. No, no, oh, we're dead. And we're dead. We're so dead. So, yeah. Death in the embrace of Mesmer's fate. Every time you hear Felice to hit, she yells like a cat. Yep, I mean, that's just Felice is a cat, so there's that. Okay. Alright. Need to focus. We can do this.
Oh, we can jump that. Oh, let's go, phase two. Phase two. Phase two hype. Shut off. Need some chicken for that. <laughs> Let's go. Remnants of the Nightlight. Asmer's Kindling. Alright chat, let's see what we've won. Nope. Yeah. It's not even enough for two levels. Well, let's fix that remedy that real quick. A little trip to Crow Spot. Actually, get more stamina for once. How about that? Having more health definitely never hurts. Let's go with that. Time to switch over to exploration uh, stuff. So let's go with that and that. Back on you to this. Have a I'm at blood roses again. problem for future police for now chat we have earned the right to go to you was hopefully the last area of the game so i guess whatever this place is Oops. 
assuming. Up we go. Into the wild blue yonder. <laughs> yep. Because basically, I got here and it's like, sorry, you need to defeat Mesmer. I'm like, okay, I'll do that. And now we defeat Mesmer, so, you know. Or the Sealy Tree? I'm getting a weird sense of deja vu here. Aren't you? I am too, Felice. But I am the president of the Jardin Club, so, you know. Yeet. Behold! I have the might of a fire that will burn anything, and I shall use it to remove this weed from my darn it. Be gone, Dandelion! Be gone. Okay, it was like a hidden area. Behind the darkness was the light. Hmm. Ooh, pretty. Very pretty. Let's light it! I'm going to Star Sanctuary Zone from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Let's go! This place says, "Oh, no warp out." It says, "Be wary of behind." Inner Elim. Okay. Well. We are in this far. Nowhere to but up. Visible path, perhaps? Probably not. Nope. Hmm. Right now I'm checking everything just in case there are secrets. Our goal chat is to find the remaining four status tree fragments so we can reach status tree rank 20. They have to be in this area, right? Surely. Alright, well, let's see where to begin. Ah, no! Not these guys again. Alright. And they fell. Whew. Spooky. Well, we ended up in this place. Pretty. Also, we were attacked. But we survived. Ah, we can't fit up there. Oh, well. It 
If only you had a nimble sword required ahead. Try jumping. I did. It yielded nothing. I guess we're going this way. Oh, another side of grace. Well, that was fast. That's Beth Monstrosity. in my head? What's down here? Ha! Ah, you lie! Mesmer fire grease. Tower settle. Wait. Oh, so it did Tanette's back up down here. Okay. I see. Well, now we're back where we fought the dancing lion, I guess. That's a nice little connection. Upstairs, then. But why, though? Time for confidence? No. Shiny. Oh, actually, no, I see why. Path. In path. So, got some enemies over there. I think it's time to pull out our trusty grape, though. Let's see here. Hey! Oh, wow, it does, that's really far. Hopefully, aim a bit higher then. Too high. Aha! Or not. Alright, let's uh, close that gap a little bit. That's more like it. Now this damage is amazing. Wait, 
What? Why though? Oh, there's some hidden goodies here, it seems, chat. What's that not hitting? There we go. Definitely want to invest my date down there, but we'll have to item ahead. Ah, item is ahead. Yeah, that's in the mess. Just some mushrooms. I'm astounded that doesn't one shot. No. Nope. Swap over to all reliable. They dropped something. Whoa. Those are wondering why I'm doing that's because the talisman I currently have equipped increases damage when I'm not locked on. What's this? Ah, revered spirit ash too. Not quite what I was looking for. Want something? They didn't have treasure chest. Circle on that. Right now, I need to recover some HP, so. Lightning. Oh, reverse spirit ash. I see. Hmm. 
Oh, before we go to the obvious dank fest, let's uh, take a look there. This is a very pretty area, but it is also very confusing. Oh! Secret door. Secret door. Secret path. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel. Just a rune arc. Darn it! I was hoping for something else. It's like, you give me secrets and it's just a rune arc? How dare. Try range. Oh, oh, no, no, no. This is why we came up here. It's to have an advantage against that group. You can go there? What? What on earth? Huh? Hold on, what? How do I get down there? What? Oh, oh my. Chat, I think there's a super secret parkour puzzle here. Look at this. Oh, we're definitely going to investigate that. I'll have to keep that in mind. Yeah, I know, there's stuff down there, but first. What on earth is this? Let's go with... Reliable. All right. damage, but we can do better. <laughs> Look at that damage, chat. to try to get down there at some point. But in order to go down, we must go up. Oh. No, it's a quizzer, Jorio, we're dead now. So you don't remember, Inquisitor Jory was that guy who just spammed all sorts of holy spells at us uh, back near where Midra's uh, area is. Now, we did BMR our first try. It was very, very, uh, very, very uh, sketchy there. Right now, I'm checking every ledge since... If that, that parkour puzzle even appears to be there, it says to me that there's probably lots of secrets lurking around that we have to be very, very watchful for. Oh, there's something there. Hello, Ian Pluto. Thanks for dropping by. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. We are exploring in Ireland. We just defeated uh, Mesmer tonight. 
Now we're in what I'm assuming is the final major area of the game. So far, very pretty. It says precious item ahead, so we'll be pretty moving very carefully. We are currently, by the way, at Statue Tree Blessing level 18. So I believe all the remaining fragments have to be... Um... Well, have to be in here. Uh, did I beat Mitra? I have not beaten Mitra. Though, to be fair, Mitra I don't think gives us anything useful for our particular build. So, now! Alright. I am lucky. I was going to see the Abyssal Woods streams. I, we explore basically everywhere in the Abyssal Woods except defeating Mitra. Listen, alright. While I was off stream, I worked very hard to defeat Commander Dias and Romina Sand the Butt, alright? And by the way, Commander Dias actually did have something useful locked behind it. It's this thing. <laughs> Boost the attack power uh, when with aim shots or when not uh, basically locking on. So, literally a bow design talisman. What about the other big area in the game? So, I mean, which big area? You mean all the dragon stuff? I did most of that before... Um, I mean, last night, Stab Tree Avatar. Oh, nice. Well, I mean, we've also beaten the Stab Tree Avatar. Did that a little while ago. Um, yeah, I think we've been everywhere else. We haven't, like, we haven't, we haven't fought Bale, I don't think. Dragon in top left. So, over here? I mean, not like the far top left, but like, it's more a decent chunk of this area. Enough to get the fragments. That's what I was primarily looking for. I didn't go like to the far, far left. Top left, but focus has been primarily on dang stuff that'll be useful for the run. Alright, so I think the precious item is this. Please be a fragment, please be a fragment. Darn it! <laughs> what even is this? Oh, this is one of those spells. Uh was all that on the top left off stream? Uh this stuff? Yeah, for the most part, that was this was this was all off stream. So when I fought Romina and stuff, that was off stream. Same with thing with Gaius. Uh okay, so it said precious item ahead. I'm not sure if it meant the spiral thing or if it meant something. I keep falling off. The one benefit of this area is that the enemies seem to drop a ton of, of runes. Sorry, I can't hear now because of the ads. Okay. First off, behind. Oh! Well, I definitely would have missed that. Maybe it's just a perk killing finger remedy. Um, what's over? Have we been here before? Uh, oh, yeah, we were literally just over there. Wait, really? Huh? Is this the thing? There's no way this is... They wouldn't put something out there, would they? Would they? I don't think we'll be out there. Maybe. Is there anything down here? Not that I can see. I think it meant the Spyro thing was what we were going for. I think. It's it meant like down here for some reason. No. Not bad. Alright. 
Well, let's continue onward. Right now, I'm just looking for the last couple of fragments as well as trying to figure out where to go. So I already saw a parkour puzzle, so I want to try that out when we next find a, well, a spot to get to it. Oh, oh, oh no. Why? This is not good. Nothing statters these things. Hi, Dane. But if he wants to chase after us, he can chase after us. You take rage from the DLC while moving into the new place. Fair enough. How are these missing in his head? Ow. Oof. That's an attack if I were. Oh my. They seriously almost jump off into the only, like, pit in that entire area. Fuse. Oh. <laughs> We're getting enormously lucky with our falls here. Want Wi Fi to record up later? That's about the boss DLC. You played your second character. Alright, fair enough. Have you beaten the DLC yet, Ian Pluto? Alright, where that guy that destroyed? It was around here. Not good. All the way over to Victoria and then some before switching back. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I find it fun to have like alternate characters to play. Different create different builds and such. Who's casting that spell? That'll be way up there, isn't it? Um, I'm going to assume it's that thing way over there. I, I, I see it way off in the distance. It's yeah, so just master slide. Okay, cool. I'm so yeah, say I'm mesmerizing the rest of that. You'll see it. Nice. Wish you all the best with that. I will say, pro tip: if you haven't fought Commander Gaius already, make sure you're in light load. You'll, you'll thank me later. <laughs> all right, a little higher. Oh, you already beat Gaius. All right, well then you know. I mean, my thought about Gaius is, if not for the the weird hitbox on his main charging attack, I think he would have been a perfectly fine boss. 
But because of that weird hitbox, it's just like, the, and the fact that it forces you to use a light ro low to basically have a reasonable chance at, a, at not being hit by that attack, I, I, that to me just seems a bit ridiculous. But like, all of his other attacks I felt were fine. Like, it's such an odd thing to say, like, how a hitbox can make an otherwise nice, well-designed boss feel a bit odd. As I think the lore behind it's pretty cool. I, like, I didn't even realize that he was an Albanark until I read about his lore after uh, his lore afterwards with some of the item descriptions. That made him a lot more interesting of a character in my eyes. All right. Let's do that. We have to be getting close to a. Uh, Side of Grace, right? Right. Yeah, it was Brussels were done to the point of friendly rivalry. That's also true. That, that I found also pretty interesting. And it made sense as you know, gravity magic, so it all lines up. So all up here is a cool cool character and would have been a really good boss fight if not for one like just you know, weird hitbox on that one attack. Otherwise, if I very fairly good boss fight. Ooh, shiny. Yes. Okay. Cardboard Celeste. I abandon here all my fears. All right. Well, before we go on up. I must see what's that down below. Is this the where we start the parkour puzzle? Armament ahead. Um I don't see anything. Oh, I see. All right, where's the trap? Oh, and Twister Ashes, okay. Hmm. Is this where it begins? Mist or beast? Hmm, oh, look at that. A path that I've never seen any way to get to. What could possibly be down here? Oh no. Let's find out. Fireproof pickle liver. I like the fact that they put an item there just to indicate that you could go there. Is that the expectation? Um. Alright. Now what? Oh dear. From software. From software! <laughs> also, all of a sudden, Team Friday. So, after mid you're going to see which ones you missed so far before Major Fred up. Also, from software, do you make the such a jest for me? Good old police who loves gravity oh so very much. It looks like the police. Gosh darn it! All right. <laughs> oh dear. I have 100,000 runes to spend. <laughs> I don't want to lose them. All right, you know what? Let's spend our 100,000 runes before we lose them, because you know we'll lose them. We will absolutely lose them. So, let's make sure to spend them all in one place before we go losing them. Gravity and from soft platforming, what could possibly go wrong? Well, before we do that, let's restock on our arrows and materials before we lose all our runes. It'd be really funny if I do all this work to spend all these runes only to actually, like, do it all first try. That would be ridiculous. On arrows, let's go get some more blood roses.
All right. If you do it all first try, I'll be happy both. You will both be happy for me and for MP. Okay, fair enough. Have you done it before, or is this like your first time seeing it? Because I was like, I'm looking at this path, and this is going to be a long path, isn't it? Is this like an infinite spot or something? I, to be fair, I did first try the Dancing Lion, so there's that. Right now, I'm in on explore territory ter 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 for the DLC. Okay. Gotcha. Alright. Uh, please no spawns, please no spawns, please no spawns, please no spawns, please no spawns. Please no spawns. I just want to go shopping. I just want to go shopping. You said uh, you're a little salty about that, but I also had a head start on fragment levels. I mean, what you call a head start, I call just exploring. Because, you know, it's an open world, and From Software is going to give us a way to permanently boost our damage and defenses. Of course, I'm going to go for that. <laughs> Especially if they designed the whole DLC around it, it, it only seemed natural. And it's like, you can really get to an impressive amount of places without actually fighting any bosses in this DLC. Like, I was really surprised. But I guess it's a good thing, because it really uh, gives a lot of options for build variety. <laughs> As we're about to destroy the map on the ref. Hey, it was a lot of fun, though. It was a lot of fun. This is... I, I will say this. Like... I... So, my thoughts on the DLC so far. I think... The way the overworld is laid out is superior to the base game. It's not going to go through the first area and out of all so fair enough. But like seriously, like this sort of interconnectedness and looping around into different areas and how well put together it is, like I want this to be the standard going forward in terms of how they lay out their open world because this feels like Dark Souls 1 if it were more of an open world kind of thing. However... <laughs> The, the big however here is that so far the bosses have been kind of hit or miss like some of the bosses are really really cool and fun and others are like commander Gaius, where it's like something about the boss just isn't quite jiving right it's not like it's not like it's fundamentally a bad boss it's just a, it's, there's just something about it that holds it back and i didn't really feel that as much in the base game like in the base game i felt like all the bosses um, especially all the major bosses, there wasn't really, like, that one thing that was, like, holding it back. But, like, the fact that, with Commander Gaius especially, the fact that there's, like, something about the way the boss is just made, not, the, like, the, the premise of it, like, the premise is fine. If you agree on that, but at the same time, having everything open would be jarring in terms of knowing where to start first. So, counterpoint, Elden Ring is designed to be a replayable game. And part of the, uh, you know, part of replayability is options, and the fact that there are so many options on where to go, especially to quote-unquote late-game areas early, I think is a good thing. Like, can it be overwhelming for your first time? Sure, but I also think that adds to the, the wonder and joy of exploration, in a sense. So, like, I mean, like, even despite my very meticulous uh, searching for uh, statue fragments, there are still parts of this map I have not been to before. Like, for example, up here. Never once set foot in this section. I have no idea what's over here. <laughs> I'm not sure if it would even be worth it to check because it, I'm not sure anything related to my build would be over there. But it's like there's just so many tiny little secret areas in this, this map and I love that. Also, the facts chat that um, one of the best talismans in the DLC is literally right at the start. But no, it's not actually at the start. You have to look up and it's near a cliff safe so it's at this church right here. Counterpoint to that, knowing the area can also set you on a path you're used to. That's true. That's true. Knowing the area. I mean, one thing I wish they did with this, uh, with this massive interconnected map, and it's such a tiny thing, like, there's so many areas where it just kind of feels like you reach a bunch of dead ends. I think it'd be cool if, just for fun, they added shortcuts to, like, interconnect certain areas 
uh, once you get to them. Just to, again, really give you that Dark Souls 1 vibe. Like, I understand with teleportation that wouldn't really be, like, the most sense, make the most sense. I say it'd be neat to be, like, for example, like, maybe you get to Midra's Mance and suddenly there's this elevator you get that lets you go back up to the Dragon Spire. Or maybe you, like, maybe you explore, like, deep over here and actually gives you an elevator down to this section. Y you know, stuff like that. Like, I think that would be really neat. Anyway, we spent, we spent our runes, and now, like I said, uh, you did explore more, uh, more areas in, in, in areas of mine. Most people will not go to without prepping. That is true. That is true. The way I play the game is definitely unorthodox. I mean, let's see. What's some of the unorthodox things I did? So, one of the unorthodox things I did in this, and mind you, this was not with a guide. I actually did, like, fully explore the Morth runes just by myself for funsies, and that, and actually found, like, the little hidden path that led to the Bonnie Village, and I thought that was such a cool moment. I'm like, whoa! They hit an area where you think, like, oh, no, that's just a death plane, right? No. You just have to find the right place to fall. All right, so I think we were here, spiral-wise. All right. You know, you did everything that was right in front of you, made sure you got everything. Uh, that's, you know, that's also fair, also fair. Well, it's video day and everything. Let's go do that parkour puzzle. Uh, we're gonna be beset with enemies, though. Okay. One second. Equipping anti enemy he stuff. Uh, yeah. Why you have to be over there? Be gone. I think we can agree that on that having a very well integrated area to this degree does a lot for different experiences each time. I agree, I agree. And I wish they would even expand on it just a tiny bit. Like, I think this is way better than the first game in terms of interconnectedness. But I still want to see them, like, actually loop back in on themselves. So, like, if they do that, I'll be like, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> okay, so, okay, they, they, they respawn. Okay, they respawn. Just uh run no 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 yeah, there are some pretty long distances to go, but because of the way it's more vertically designed, it, it makes it feel a lot more interconnected. Oh, you were doing a chat? Or which one was that? Oh, read a message a million. Huh? What's that, Alvarez? You're mewing steak stuff? Come on, where's the sigma I dwell that's always maxing out? It's okay. You'll always be my little baby donk droid. Just try not to be that, okay? By the way, I'm hungry. Can someone get me some food, please? Also, no fats, Nam Tats. Wait, we're in Ohio? No way! That's based and goaded with the Alpha Sauce for real. Man, I like sipping syrup. Let's get some Discord Nitro. And still find a way to tailor it or just steer clear of Dr. Tass altogether. That's true, but it's like, I mean, even just looking at the map design, you can tell like this feels a lot more like looping in on itself, more like Dark Souls 1, whereas here it's like pfft, everything spread out. It's not like there's no looping, but it's a lot more like, okay, this is a limb grave, go in one direction to Kayla, go in the other for, for Lyernia, and that's just kind of it. But, anyway, getting a bit off topic there, let's, um, let's hardcore parkour. We'll have our, our great bow here for helping us micro adjust. Uh, no shiny for us. Okay. 
Guardian of that one uh, is DLC, while another gives off the feel is the vast level of multiple games. That's that's also true. Obviously, I know this is a DLC, but I can still adore the interconnectedness of it. All right. So now we begin hardcore parkour. Man, this is not going to end well. I'm just gonna equip the black bow because that's if we have to react to Twitch, it'll help us a bit more. All right. Yeet. Thank you for the shiny. Right now, I'm literally just hutting the wall as much as possible. Because I do not trust anything here. Listen, even if it's not that good, I still want it. It's a shiny. Shiny. Uh, here there isn't much, but allows it to be more condensed and make things more connected while still having a straight path. Are you saying it isn't much, but this feels like, like, 40 to 50% of the base game in terms of raw content. Like, seriously. The amount they jam-packed into here is extremely impressive. Like, I understand, like, compared to, like, the size of the base game, it's obviously smaller, but it feels like the space is used a lot better. Oh, uh, no. Anyway. Alright. Take our time. No rush. Just think of Anna Orlando from Dark Souls 1 and you'll be fine. Alright. So. Head down there. Where are we going? All right, so far so good. All right, we got ourselves a shiny. Lord Swarm's Bolts, we'll take that. Do I have to jump down there or is it just kind of loop back in on itself? Let's find out. Well, there's definitely one area where a bow excels, and that's in precision walking because of how aiming down, aiming like this works. Oh, that's such a mean jump. Okay, okay, it wasn't that bad, it wasn't that bad. Keep moving, but to where though? No? Okay, so I think they want us to go. Down. Okay, yeah. Down it is, then. Down we go. No! I refuse. Not dying yet. More spit than stone. Precious item. <laughs> well, if we need that summer spit than five, that would be a precious item. But yeah, like I was saying, Ian blew it up. You say there isn't much that allows to be more condensed. I mean... This feels like 40 to 50% of the base game in terms of just raw content. Like, it may not look like much, that's just it's more vertically condensed. I mean, for me, my favorite moments of the DLC so far have been, like, the areas... So, I'd say the moments that really wowed me would have been, like, the very first time I walked onto the Cerulean Coast, or the first time I entered the, the Stone Coffin Fissure. Um, the first time stepping foot into the Abyssal Woods, too. And also just, I think that the Shadow Keep is an extremely well-designed Legacy Dungeon. Not the start, the start's just kind of linear, but once you get to, like, the storehouse, it's insanely impressive to me that From Software was able to essentially create two completely separate dungeons, so, like, kind of this half of, of the dungeon and this half of the dungeon. Uh, that's fair, fair enough to be implode, but, like, if we want to talk about how cool the Shadow Keep is, from Software effectively took two separate hit dungeons, you know, the side from this side and the side from this side, literally put had them both intersect at a tower that's like many stories tall, but they never overlap except at like the very end. But you can still like see the the different paths so that no matter which path you took, you always feel like you're missing out on half the dungeon. I think that's so cool. It's a really good use of space.
Really? No, oh, I trust that. Seriously? I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. Oh. First off, stay calm, then try jump. Seriously? Oh, gosh. All right. I am so impressed I made that. The only play I'll check is that you have to go to the little opposite of the map just to get in. I'm fine with that. I think I honestly think that's cool. <laughs> like I think it's cool that you have to go on a, a wild goose chase to kind of end up at the other half of it. it. It makes it feel like that much more of a journey. And also just the whole like the water section followed by uh, draining it and how it opens up in such an area kind of like the uh, I think it was called the New Londo Ruins in Dark Souls 1. I, I liked that that particular area a lot. Also, how like the the, the tree uh, the ulcerated tree spirits would just swim in the water almost like sharks. Monster up ahead. Oh gosh. Be wary of up. I'm looking up. Oh, I see it. I see it. I think we have uh is that one of those spider scorpion things? I think it is. Be wary of butt. Alright. How to handle you. I can't exactly aim upward, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, my thing to do is roll away. Wait for it to inevitably die. Okay, fragment, let's go. Running, running, running. Being chased. Shortcut. 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 All right for shortcut. Just so you know, you did both halves. It was very fun to do both. I agree. It was fun to do both halves. Lots of good items. Lots of fun enemies to be defeated. Yay! Also, what? Oh, that's from software. I mean, I understand why, but also... So, not only can we get up here, it's like... You can't get back to that. Oh yeah, did I get that spell? I have not. I thought I did the quest properly, but I, I guess not, because I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. Alright, so there's the giant uh, spider scorpion thing. Alright. No shortcut ahead. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a fake shortcut. What's down there? Alright, you know what? Let's lower this thing away. So let's just fire an arrow over there so it gets distracted. Then we shall... Find our way over here. Where's this go? Down we go. Are we back in Belarut? Do we somehow end up back in Belarut? Or is this just the earlier section of, um... I did talk to Leia, uh... I talked to Leia, did I help her defeat the horn set and go against her? Uh, no. I... I don't remember fighting the horn scent. I, I told her to go fight the horn set, but then I don't remember fighting anyone now. Well, I don't even know where I'm at at this point in the Onsbach monster line. I just remember giving Onsbach some kind of secret scroll, and that was about it. What am I even looking at here? All right. The sound though, now those are headshots. I did that to match up. Oh, there were summon signs? Man, where are those summon signs? I'm not even sure if they'll still be there, but if they're if they are there, I'd want to at least try to do them. Oh, 
Dalton Hortender. Firehead. What is this area? Try a range. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? Why? Ow! Okay. Man. Running. Never lose now our bonus damage. Okay. That was close. Three best is just Emily. <laughs> Since YouTube's recommendation algorithm tends to prefer frequent uploaders, the initial uploads to you of a football may have helped this web series go viral. As a result of January 2024, the Skippity Toilet Show is reportedly being investigated and for alleged harm, followed by a report by that. In April 2004, the Wayos were presented to the Legislative Assembly as a demonstration and as a channel safety report, right before heading to the library for the Horn Scent one. Should be by the bait stairs and link there where you fought the hippo to the upper area towards the walkway. Okay, I need to check there out. Okay, I'll check there out once I figure out where that I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing down here. <laughs> Wait, is this that door we could never open? Please. Please. Please be the door we should never open. Shiny. Which means probably trap. Euphoric. <laughs> what? So since you beat Mesmer, you may be locked out. No! Are you telling me I don't want to have an NPC design, side quested yet? Because if that happened, that would actually be pretty far for the course here, because I've been notoriously bad at doing the, the NPC side quests in this run. Like, I didn't even do the crab side quest. Alright, so what, what is this euphoria? It's, uh... Oh, it's a twin blade. Euphoria Vortex. Interesting. <laughs> Laugh, but also sadness. Ansbach is a G. Aww. Did I, did I mess up Ansbach now? Well, I mean, we won't really know until I check. But first, I think we have a spider scorpion to go destroy, so... Wait a minute! Wait, 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 I've been here before. I've been here before. This is that sewer area. You're telling me this bridge wasn't just off in the distance? It wasn't just backdrop image? You're telling me there's been a treasure here this entire stinking time? Bravo from software. Bravo. Bravo! Well done! <laughs> See chat, this is this right here is a good use of space, okay? I know, right? That's so crazy! I love it though, this is really cool. Also, remastered adapter. Fortnite is the player versus player game for up to 100 players, allowing one to play alone in a duo or a squad. Weapon display is airdrop from a battle bus that crosses the game's map that's damaged for weapons, items, and resources while trying to stay alive and to attack and eliminate other players. Over time, the safe area of the map shrinks down in size to an incoming toxic storm. Players outside that threshold take damage and to be eliminated if they fail to quickly evacuate. And that's, dear hat kid, was an AI-generated description of a game that I shall never play. Ooh. AI. Okay. 
All right. Let's go fight that spider scorpion, and then we'll head up to see what's next. Oh, actually, now I think about it, I don't think I ever got Stab Tree rank 19, so I think we can do that. Where is Clef? Whoa, there's Clef. That's unfortunate Clef. Well, up we go. I was joking when I said AI generated Albert Hickelson. Alright. The spider scorpion is right over yonder. He's doing the shimmy. Gotta do that shimmy. Now, come back. I demand sustenance. Be done. This is like a mini game, isn't it, chat? <laughs> That's just like you're playing Mario Party and it's like, I battle, battle the Sputter Scorpion while it tries to... <laughs> Zoom back and forth. Just say like that, 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 be done. All right. Did you drop any shinies? No. All right. Well, that was indeed a thing, chat. It was quite the journey we did to get down here, but we have a match to survive and to thrive. Now that we have survived and thrived, we shall send. Still crazy to me, they would give us like a shortcut that's not actually a shortcut because you can't get up here normally. It's almost like from software's like trolling the heck out of us with that parkour section. But lo and behold, I did not die on the parkour section, so take take that from software. For the first time, I, Felice, hey. have defeated gravity for once in my existence. For once! All right, now let's see what's next. Back to the spiral rise. Also, uh, Ian Fluis redeemed Rita Messenger's Dark Souls 1's character as Lunar Princess Ronnie. Um, let's see, is this a good Ronnie voice? I thought I guess we'll go with this. Tarnished. I beseech each the that. <clears throat> Tarnished. <clears throat> Tarnished. I beseech thee to fight Mikola. His reign as new god in counter to my own. If you do, I would see. He be as a major pod champ and give you the most incredible death. Ah, I see. I see. All right, well, that's, uh... Yep, kind of blessing up. Yes! Only one more rank to go, chat. One more statue rank to blow, and then we'll be at max power! Think of, of all the power we could have, chat. All the power. All of it. All right. Well, not quite time for that, though. It's even up here anyway. Ominous. Oh, stairs are broken. First off, revenge, and then you go. Oh, I see. Revenge is that thing. Alright. Now it's like we have more dungeon to explore. <laughs> Well, we're almost out on limit power. Not quite there yet. We're very close. Be gone. Or not. Be gone. Hmm. Alright. 
Read a message as a Dark Souls 1 character. In mythology, Distordia is is a trickster and the Roman in Goddess of Chaos. Laura and Foss based Distordia's character on Q, an omnipotent trickster. Something's attacking. Um. Uh, played by John Delancey, the same person who played that on Star Trek The Next Generation. Second. The production team considered a satellite to voice the character, but decided to go with the Lancey himself. The creative team developed Discord as he could break all the rules of the show by making him put more random uh, modernized pop culture references than usual in the series fantasy storybook setting. I see. Okay, up we go. Could this be a precious item? No. <laughs> That's really satisfying. Just how they just go funk. No, no. by a bird. I'm a cat, I'm supposed to eat birds. Yeah, this is like a war bird. Ancient war bird. How's that missing? Those things broke up. Somehow alive. I need, I, okay, I need a backup. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. Run. Okay. Dang, that was more stressful than I needed to be. We also need to have it. We'll take that. Oh, please don't be another one. Why? Why is it with burbs in this section? Spirit ashes, I imagine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a different path. Interesting. Well, before we jump down that rabbit hole. Likely left in short offered gesturing. What? Don't give up skeleton. By the way, behold lights. Yeah, that is indeed lights. So I would say, praise the sun. No, nope, 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 not that thing, anything but that thing.
This is the real stealth section, chat. <gasps> Statue fragment, let's go! Shiny. How many are we at? Chat, we literally just need one more and then we'll be maxed out. Oh, it's a frost beast. Frost beast. Good. I'm good. Oh dear. Okay. Um. We're gonna mess with just hacked in. Starlight Glimmer is a unicorn with a strong talent for magic and a former villain. Her design was chosen to parallel her role as a proto-Twilight character. It first appears in Season 5's two-part premiere, The Cutie Map, when she was the founder and leader of a village in about equal society. By magically removing others, she marks because she believes differences cause disharmony between friends, until Twilight and her friends came to her village and exposed her ruse. I see. Also, Jenny. Sun warmth stone. Hmm, Solera would approve. It's supposed to be very dead. Yeah, that's definitely something over there. There's lots of somethings around here, aren't there? All right, well. Many curious little locations. But before we die, like, don't die jumping off a cliff, I want to make sure we find any sort of... Like, checkpoint or something. I think we're probably getting close to one. What on earth is... Oh, the lift's going up. Not to say, like, what the heck is that? Is it, yeah, that's fine. It's a kind of tentacle demon. Was that it? Bam. Round two. Um. Why is there more? I was hoping for like a sight of grace. I, mean, I guess that's what this is for, right? Yeah, it takes us to the base. Okay, so that's basically a checkpoint for us. <laughs> yeah, we did body that guy. All right, well, let's go look at the, the secrets that we didn't get, so... There was that uh, section right there, so... Yeet! go up and we can go down. Let's check up first then down. Alright, uh, okay, this is the way back up. Let's go down. Yeah, one of the nice things about the DLC is because enemies are worth so much runes, it's actually viable to use great arrows, because great arrows are normally too expensive to be viable, but here, because everything drops so many runes, it's actually viable to use the heavy damage of a, of a, of a great bow. Okay, lots of shinies here, where's the trap? Horned warrior ashes. Neutralizing bolses. Launching bolses. Ah, and this is that lower path that we saw earlier, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. It all makes sense. Okay, so that would have been a nice little shortcut to get past a lot of those enemies. I like that. Nice little alternate path option for the observance uh, adventurer.
Or in our case, just a path because we do everything. Or try to do as much as we can. Alright. Up we go. Imagine trying to speedrun this chat. What what do speedrunners have to? What, I wonder what the expectation is for speedrunners here. Is there like some way to get to this place early? Why? So be it. What, what, wait, what? Impressive. Well, that was a headshot, that was awesome. Oh, does it not come this way? You would have to know each path to know what gets you to the end faster, fair enough. I mean, technically, wouldn't you just have to defeat Mesmer and Romina and that would be it? Like, wouldn't that just be it? Because the thing about, like, the only thing that stopped me so far was the thing that said you need Mesmer's Flame and Romina physically being in front of that thing. One Warrior's Greatsword. Okay. Well, that's something. Add that to the collection of, like, a million great swords that are in this game. Yeah, it feels like the great sword is, like, the, the most, like, default weapon in this game. Wouldn't you agree? Actually, no, I take that back. I just have eight katanas, but... The great swords, it feels like there are just so many. Oh, you're just talking navigation. I was talking game design. Like, unless there's some other mandatory boss that I'm forgetting, like, to, in my mind, those seem to be the only two mandatory bosses that appear to be the case. Ah! Dang. Also, what are you? Yes! Chat, we're about to do it. We're about to ascend into maximum shadow kitty. Be prepared. We're at 67.85. Well, with our normal setup. It's set, we are at 74.28% physical damage nation and attack power of 717. But now, when we offer our final fragments, we ascend! It's a level 20 Ephelice. Which, as you can see, 74.594% to station 726 damage, that's insane. Dancing Lion just adds us the flame area and then Mesmer. No? <laughs> Why would you need to kill the Dancing Lion? Like, what does that give you? Like, the, 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 this whole section up here, I would not have had... I don't think I'd have to kill the Dancing Lion, because it's this spot right here that teleports you up here. So, I know there's a path from the Dancing Lion up here, but that's blocked by the thorns. Uh, read a message as Apollo. Zakora is a zebra shaman, herbalist who speak, always speaks in rhyme and lives in, in the ever brief free forest on the edge of Ponyville. The townsfolk misjudge her as an evil enchantress until Twilight and her friends befriend her in Bryle Gossip, often turning to her for her wisdom and special emotions. Her appearance, mannerisms are influenced by 
high tribal culture, and she speaks in rhyming couplets with her lines. Sakura was designed to be a mentor to the main cast, but that part didn't come up in the series. Oh, I didn't know that's what teleports you. Tell you to explore that area. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's just like, I feel like the only mandatory bosses would be Mesmer and then St. Saint, Saint Romina, and then that would be it. And, of course, whatever's coming up. But now, we are Max Elden Kitty. We have the power, and we are ready to fight. It's also getting late. So, what I'm going to do, chat, we're going to go back to the Shadow Keep. Let's see if we can find that, um... That summon sign. If it doesn't exist, then oh well. it will just add to the memes of of my complete inability to defeat Vision NPC side quest here. All right. So if it's going to be anywhere, Ian Pluta, where would the summon signs be? Is it like supposed to be around here or something? Go back down from the elevator outside. Okay. Well, I'll have that there in a second. Is, um. Alright. Anzbot's not here, so. Let's backtrack. Go back, uh, from here down the elevator outside. Okay. Alright. Down the elevator we go. here. Alright, I'm down here, now what? If it would be anywhere, where would it be? Well, first let's defeat this thing. Yeah, be that guy, go straight down. Alright. Oh, right. Arrows. Now. All right, going straight down. All right, I'm going straight. Now what? Way down there somewhere. Once you do that, go to the stairs, lean down to the hippo fight, and look left. So over there or are you saying go that way not down okay so this way somewhere over this way no should be by the stairs well, I don't see anything, so I'm assuming that we've locked ourselves out of whatever. I don't see any summons. Well, unless I am blind. I don't... Nothing appears to be here. Alright, well, clearly I think I've locked myself out of the side quest, which sort of surprised no one. Because <laughs> I tend to do that. Alright. <laughs> yeah, we're locked. Well, there's only one thing to do now, so. Let's see. Um. Yeah. Why? Why? Why is every time I try to do an NPC side quest, it ends horribly? 
or in my case, not at all. Oh well. Well, I think uh, for now we'll just um, buy some more arrows and call it a night. That's, it. So that's part more fun. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what is that? What's going to happen? What horrible thing is going to happen? Well, we'll have to find out next stream, won't we, chat? I even know what, the, what, what it could be. It's like, Badger, we come back to Onslaught's like, I'm sorry, you didn't help me when I needed you most. And now you pay the ultimate price, Felice. You should have done the side quest. <laughs> Finally, let's buy some more blood roses. Oh, that's the wrong side of grace. Oh. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Elden Ring has crashed. All right, well, I think that's a <laughs> just spot a night as, as I need to wrap things up. So, if you're watching on Twitch, feel free to stick around for a rate, but if you're watching on YouTube and you like what you saw, please consider.